A question of character. Nathan Rad Spencer doesn't have to prove how rad he is. That's because being rad is his middle name. Nathan Rad Spencer's remarkable services are enlisted by the Federation as a bionic commando. He is sent to rescue Super Joe, who is a regular commando. The Federation only hires commandos. Nathan Rad Spencer does not jump. He doesn't need to. But sometimes he needs to. Like right now. Damn. No matter. He will command his bionic arm to carry him. A bionic commando. Hoist me over this chasm, bionic arm. I bionically command you to do it. The arm will obey. Nathan Rad Spencer is a super handsome fashion soldier. He has the finest spiked hair this side of Jersey Shore. Frosted with battle resistant hairspray. He is also dressed down in a green military suit with a backpack slash bandolier carrying his bionic arm. Nathan Rad Spencer will grip with his bionic arm. He will also punish the enemy with it. He punches them with it. He punches them with it. He punches them with it. He punches them. Nathan Rad Spencer fights the Imperial Army led by Generalissimo Kill it. The Generalissimo wishes to resurrect not only the long lost evil plan of Albatross, but also Master D. The Federation is counting on the Bionic Commando to prevent this from ever happening. Nathan Rad Spencer will entrust into the abilities of his Bionic arm the one thing that makes him Bionic, because otherwise, He's just a guy with a really nice hairdo. Nathan Rad Spencer will also use all sorts of weaponry. A giant cannon that looks to dislocate his shoulder upon each blast. Machine guns that shoot at 22.5 degrees. The best degrees. Hyper bazookas. And even other guns that look to cause self-injury or make the enemy laugh. And the enemy will laugh at Nathan Rad Spencer because they think he's a nerd. Nathan Rad Spencer will show them I'm not a nerd, I'm rad. However, Nathan Rad Spencer does not realize how bad these bad guys are. In fact, they are so bad that they are named the bad. Now that's bad. But Nathan isn't bad. He's rad. Nathan is rad. And when Super Joe is rescued, He'll be glad. I'm so glad. The Bionic Commando wears Ray-Bans. The Bad's army is insane. They are comprised of Cybermen with Robo-Lips, PP bots and suicidal enemies that urge you to shoot them. Men of madness. Fortunately, when Nathan shoots them, they turn into experience bullets. And the experience of murder provides Nathan with stamina. Your death brings me power. Also, Nathan has not just the power of people bullets, but as well, the Lord. Lord, I pray that you block this bullet. Thank you. He is a man that doesn't fear swinging across colossal floodlights. He does not fear heights. He will surf sewer sludge. He does not fear enemy poop. And he does not fear enemy plant. Okay, he kind of fears that. Nathan Rad Spencer uses his communicator to tap into the enemy's communication. Sometimes for crucial information. Other times to laugh at how stupid they are. Furthermore, the Federation will assist by providing communication for Nathan, as well as help helpful equipment in neutral areas, such as flares to illuminate dark caves. And they will pleasantly place this equipment far away and next to dangerous spikes. Thanks for nothing, asshole. However, if Nathan shoots this jerk, then the nation of neutral will rush to eliminate the threat to neutrality. The day will turn to night. Blackness will befall the sky, and the neutral warriors will rain upon him with the force of an unbiased hailstorm. Nathan will finally come face to face with true terror. And for unexplained reasons, the Generalissimo decides to suddenly terminate his plans for Master D's resurrection, and in turn, Master D terminates him. And in 
turn turn, Nathan seeks to terminate the Terminator as he God damn it! As he takes the hyper bazooka from Hal that he already has and gives Master D a rocket facelift. Unfortunately, this begins a chain of events which will cause the bad space to explode. And before it explodes, Nathan Rad Spencer will escape, embracing Super Joe in his bionic arm. Not Hal though, he's dead. And they will both be heli choppered away from the explosion, all while making sure he looks damn good doing it. Scooch to the left, Joe. You're mussing up the do. Next episode. Nice to meet you. I'm Bond. James Bond. Now meet my gun. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. Oh, character.